Rahu with moon. Rahu with moon, you see, Rahu is an extreme point of zodiac. Rahu Ketu are extreme points of zodiac. And when they go with moon, moon mind also goes to extreme. Right? So either the person is extremely humble or extremely egoistic, depending on how the setup is. Because Rahu Ketu will give a result according to the planet situated with them, respecting them, Rashi Lord. Situated here, moon is situated, and because we are judging the result related to moon, so Rahu will give result like moon. We have to see how the condition of moon is. If the condition is bad, the person is very egoistic, extreme egoistic. Or if the condition is good, the person is extremely humble. The person is either extremely rich or extremely poor, right? The mind and the results are into extreme. This extreme in behavior and in other things can create problems which others don't understand because the person is an extremist. That is one thing. Apart from that, because my Rahu indicates cleverness, etc. The native is very clever, very intelligent. Native is a visionary. Generally, I have seen that Rahu with Moon native is very powerful. If the native misuses his power to trouble others, then this power becomes a curse for him. Otherwise, the native is very powerful, very authoritative, very good, well to do. That is one thing. Secondarily, the mind of the native is very sharp. If he does not use his mind into good things, researches, etc., then this mind is into swifty, crafty things which create problems for others. And in that case, native becomes a nuisance for his society and family members. This is something that had to be understood and controlled properly. Right? Apart from that, only Rahu with Moon is not an eclipse combination. Eclipse can only happen in full moon day or new moon day. So full moon day, new moon day and moon with Rahu or Ketu will be an eclipse, not otherwise. Apart from that, Rahu with Moon, the native is generally happy in childhood, wealthy in old age. In middle ages, native have to struggle. Rahu in second house from moon, native will be wealthy, but will not get happiness from his wealth. Generally, others will use his wealth. Native will have multiple assets, but once again, native cannot enjoy his assets. Though he has assets, but only others enjoy him. Other worldly materials also he will have, but none of that will be able to give him happiness either because the native is not satisfied or because others are using it. He is not using it. And native will also have a lot of self-esteem. So his things will be like, okay, I have this home. Either I will live here alone or if others live, then I will only confine myself to one room and will not enjoy it. Right? That kind of very extreme self-esteem kind of a case is what stops him from enjoying finer things in life. This is something that the native who have Rahu in second from moon should change. And this is direct calculation. Second house means second house. When Rahu is in third house from moon, native will have a rulership, will be king-like, will be a minister, will have very authoritative and powerful position in his profession. Native will acquire great amount of wealth and have multiple resources. There will be no scarcity in the life of native. Rao in fourth house from moon, native is always happy. And native gives, but native gives great trouble to his mother, great trouble to his spouse and to his father. So himself is very happy, but is problematic to mother, father and spouse. Rahu in the fifth house from moon, native is kingly right from the birth. So born in a well-to-do family does good himself. In old age, native becomes very rich. But there is accidents because of water and watery creatures. And in life, at every step, the native encounters obstacles. And he succeeds in things only after multiple tries and having patience. Rahu in sixth house from moon, native will be very authoritative, will be a very authoritative position in his profession. And native will be very close to a very great powerful authoritative person because of which the life of the native will be very smooth. This is a Raj Sambandhi Yuga. Right? Native will be minister of a great person. Native will not do good in his homeland. He will succeed in foreign lands only. But the mental tendency of the native will be that the native will always remain sad. Native will be king-like, will have rulership, will have prominent position and profession as I all, all, also told you. The native will have much wealth and resources as well. Rahu in seventh house from moon, the native is always happy, but gives great trouble to his mother, spouse and father as well. This result of Rahu also includes the result of Ketu as well. So there is no separate result of Ketu from different houses from Moon because the result of Rahu includes that. 
that's why with rahu with moon it is told that troubles to spouse because ketu will be in the seventh house that's the thing rahu in eighth house from moon the native will have wealth assets and other worldly materials but he will not get happiness because of it why because native have extreme level of self esteem the same result that is told in the second house because now ketu is in the second house right the result indicates the result of ketu as well rahu in 9th house and 10th house from moon the native will be kingly by birth will be very rich in old age but in the middle ages will have to struggle for wealth and stability rahu in 11th house from moon the native will be professionally very well to do will be a will be king like high professional status authority power position is there native will be very wealthy and very resourceful rahu in 12th house from moon the native will have great professional heights native will be very close to a powerful person and because of this intimacy with powerful person native will do well in life and will be resourceful and powerful where others will come to him for help and he will help them as well right this was the result of rahu in 12 different houses from moon